Dash 35's YouTube channel. Today we're covering the interface uh, or the Mac interface for the Easy Educator. Um, it's a download tool to control every aspect of the Easy Educator. So first thing you want to do is go to your system preferences. Make sure Java is installed. If it's not, go to java.com and I'll leave all the links below um, and download Java to your Mac. Um, uh, so Java is installed. We want to go here to security and privacy. Click on that. What we want to do is enable the download from anywhere. So we're going to unlock it. Go to the passcode. Then click on anywhere. We're going to allow a download from anywhere. So right now it's open. So we're going to lock her back up. We're going to get out of here. Then I'm going to open up to download or open up Safari to download the um, download tool from Dropbox from eColor Technologies. And I'll leave the link and everything below. So we want to go to the Easy 900. Click on that. And then we're going to download it. Click on download. And then go up here and we're going to open it up. Now, let's see, which one did I, I think it's this one. I've downloaded this twice and we're going to open it up. And you can see it down in the tray here. So now we're going to close it up. Next thing we want to do is um, connect our um, Easy Educator to the computer. And then it, it's just a USB, unplug it from your battery. And uh, battery charger, unplug it in um, to USB. And then your mini USB is on there. Just like you would charge it, only pull it out of your battery, wall battery charger. So here we go. I'm locked on 15. It tells you what levels. My boost level is 15. And just hit unlock. And then you can change it. We're back up to 15. So you can do all of your changes on the computer. You don't even have to, to mess with the uh, um, remote if you don't want to. So here's S1 button, S2 button. That's momentary, continuous, vibration, tone. You can change um, the S3 button, which is here. You can change it to whatever you want it, want it to be. Um, I keep mine at vibration. So as you can see, S1 button, S2, S3, S4. And then you can change the configuration of it uh, to meet your needs. And then um, down here we have you know, vibration levels, and then we have the tone levels. I'm going to put mine on high, and it's on normal mode. And then when we're done making our changes, we just we save it. Saves complete. So all the changes are already made on my um, Easy Educator. So then I'm going to go down here, where I like to keep this in the tray. Um, so I'm going to right click it, go to options, and I'm going to keep it in the dock so that stays on there. If you don't keep it in the dock, uh, you have to find it on your computer every time you close out of it. So I just keep it there for convenience. Um, so this is the EZ900 UI controller, and this is brought to you by Dash35.com, um, pet supply company. And come visit us uh, for all your pet supply needs. And all the links um, will be in the um, just the description. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you learned something from it. It's pretty easy. This works the same way on the Pro Educator too. Uh, it's just a different download tool. Um, so you download the Pro Educator or the Easy Educator. Simple as that. So if you have a Pro Educator, um, we'll go back. Um, to Safari real quick. I'll put in the link to 
Dropbox eColor Technologies and the PE900 that's the pro so that's what, what you want to look for so if you have a pro uh, that's interface for the Mac you'd want to use I'm gonna get back out of here I've made all my changes everything's cool so, well, thanks again if you have any questions or comments please leave them uh, in the comments below have a wonderful day